does M at MIT, does calling for the genocide of Jews violate MIT's code of conduct or rules regarding bullying and harassment, yes or no? If targeted at individuals not making public statements. Yes or no? Calling for the genocide of Jews does have, not constitute bullying and harassment? I have not heard calling for the genocide for Jews on our campus. But you've heard chants for intifada. I've heard chants, which can be anti-Semitic depending on the context, when calling for the elimination of the Jewish people. So those would not be according to the MIT's code of conduct or rules? That would be um, investigated of, as harassment if pervasive and severe. Ms. McGill, at Penn, does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Penn's rules or code of conduct? Yes or no? If the speech turns into conduct, it can be harassment, yes. I am asking, specifically calling for the genocide of Jews, does that constitute bullying or harassment? If it is directed and severe or pervasive, it is harassment. So the answer is yes. It is a context-dependent decision, Congresswoman. It's a context-dependent decision. That's your testimony today. Calling for the genocide of Jews is depending upon the context. That is not bullying or harassment. This is the easiest question to answer yes, Ms. McGill. You know, guys, man, one thing we have truly got to be honest about right now in this country, it's okay to yell for, you know, the extermination of the Jews or the genocide of the Jews or whatever. It's okay. It's seen as okay. Because again, that's popular. The popular narrative, man, is well, it'd be bullying if it was one on one. But I mean, again, they can, they can march through the campus. You, know, you could have 200 people come through and yell, kill the Jews. And, you know, yeah, I mean, that's not really bullying. I mean, really? <laughs> really? Could you imagine? But I'm gonna I'm gonna play a game with you guys, man. Could you imagine if you had a bunch of white people marching through the campus saying "kill the blacks"? Oh, because again, man, we would all reckon man, that that is harassment. That's bullying. That's wrong. And again, that would make people of color feel uncomfortable. I mean, it it make me feel uncomfortable. So again, we have to truly understand that, you know, right now there's privilege in this country. You can say certain things about Jewish folks. You can be anti-Semitic. You can say, you know, certain things about white folks. You can be, you know, you can have prejudice, maybe be racist towards white folks. Then again, man, it's okay. It's okay. Because again, there is privilege in this country. We have to truly understand that. But it's not white privilege. White privilege does not exist. We have to truly be honest, understand that. It doesn't. Because again, man, you can say whatever you want about white folks. You can say whatever you want about Jewish folks. But again, you can't say anything about Muslim. You can't say anything about black because again, they have been oppressed. Really? So we have to truly understand, man, if if one thing is good for one and not the other, there's a problem. There's inequality. And, and again, man, equity is nothing but bullshit. But equality. There's inequality. If you, if you can say whatever you want to say about white folks or Jewish folks or whatever, and these women, these these college presidents, man, they couldn't even say that, yeah, it's wrong. It's wrong. Again, they couldn't answer a simple question. So is your if testimony it, that it, you will not answer yes? If it uh, is, if the, yes speech or no. becomes, if the speech becomes conduct, it can be harassment. Yes. Conduct meaning committing the act of genocide? The speech is not harassment. This is unacceptable, Ms. McGill. I'm going to give you one more opportunity for the world to see your answer. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Penn's code of conduct when it comes to bullying and harassment? Yes or no? It can be harassment. The answer is yes. And Dr. Gay, 
at Harvard, does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment, yes or no? It can be, depending on the context. What's the context? Targeted as an individual, targeted as, at an individual. It's targeted at said. Jewish students, Jewish individuals. Do you understand your testimony is dehumanizing them? Do you understand that dehumanization is part of antisemitism? I will ask you one more time. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment? Yes or no? Anti-Semitic rhetoric. When it and is it anti-Semitic rhetoric? Anti-Semitic rhetoric when it crosses into conduct that amounts to bullying, harassment, intimidation, that is actionable conduct and we do take action. So the answer is yes, that calling for the genocide of Jews violates Harvard Code of Conduct, correct? Again, it depends on the context. It does not depend on the context. The answer is yes, and this is why you should resign. These are unacceptable answers across the board. Guys, we have truly got to understand all three of these women need to resign. I mean, all three of them. You know, the fact of the matter is, man, if you were placed, they would feel very different if you replaced Jewish folks with black folks. And, you know, people were calling for the extermination of black folks. I guarantee you, every single one of these women would feel very different. But again, man, the, the reason why, the reason why, you know, they they feel the way they do about this, because it's popular. It's allowed, man, because right now, the majority of the kids out there, they're pro-Palestine from the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. Whatever bullshit they're yelling about. We truly have got to understand, guys, that if you, if, if you went against that, these women who went against it, they would be called, they'd be protest, they would be called to step down. We truly have got to get that. I mean, again, all you have to do to, to understand what they're doing and to understand how messed up it is is to replace Jews with black folks. That's it. <laughs> That's it. And people were, you know, giving speeches on the campus and marching through the campus and calling for the elimination of black people. I mean, again, could you imagine what would happen? Could you imagine the responses of these women? They'd be 180 degree different. I mean, again, they, they'd be opposite. So again, we have truly get to understand what they're doing and what they're saying. And again, right now in this country, it's okay to be racist or Jewish people or, or black, you know, white people or whatever, man, it's okay. It's okay in the Western world to be, to be, uh, you know, anti-white, to be anti-Jewish, man, to be anti-Semitic. It's okay. That is okay. That scene is fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. We, tr we truly have got to recognize that. But again, man, I guarantee you, these women would be appalled if they were talking about eliminating black people. I guarantee you they would be. But because, man, it's Jewish folks, you know. You know, again, you know, like that one woman with Harvard said, you know, you know, it's, it depends on, you know, for targeting people. Again, <laughs> if you're calling for the extermination, of Jewish folks, you're targeting Jewish folks. That's all there is to it. You're targeting those students. So again, man, I guarantee you'd be vastly different, vastly different. The same thing were happening to blacks. Very different. But again, man, you can see that is what, what is happening in this country and the Western world. But guys, man, if you would, please like, 
subscribe and leave a comment down below. You son of a. You son of a. You son of a.